Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. Here we have some time traveling silliness. I have the mid 16th century Scots against late 30 years war Germans. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that I've played the Scottish army before. It seemed really powerful thanks to the cheapness of these pike blocks. I'm curious to see how it'll do against an army with large numbers of pike and shot. Uh, the game's point system is not meant to be balanced for this kind of matchup. You can just do it anyway if you want to. So it's not supposed to be anything serious, but we're doing it for a bit of fun. So this late 30 years war list has pike and shot and horse, so melee, pistol, probably some musketeers, artillery, dragoons, pretty conventional stuff. Uh, we're bringing white lancers because they're cheap in our crappy light lancer non-light cavalry because they're 32 each they'll get rolled over by any enemy cavalry but they can hopefully slow it down skirmishing archipiciers in case there is forest work or village work to do otherwise nine blocks of unarmored pikemen no highlanders they are impact with swordsman warriors very nice very vulnerable to cavalry and given that there's really no train for them to hide in here. I mean, I could stick them here, but let's face it, we're going to be attacking. So all this open ground, not really worth bringing such a squishy unit, I don't think. Unless, I mean, then we're wasting 10 instead of 14 points and have one more unit. Is that worth it? <sighs> I don't really think it is. We'll stick with what we have. So our cunning strategy is to, uh, you know, pile the pike blocks straight ahead. We'll dump some of our crappy light lancers into forests or on this high ground. Forest is good because it's severely disordering, but they can still zone out enemy cavalry or threaten to charge out from behind. But the disordering effect will be in our favor as a swordsman. We have light archipiciers to invest these woods. One unit to accompany our light horse here. These guys are just going to have to be meat shields to keep them from getting around behind us too quickly. In fact, I might turn these guns that way to direct at any cavalry. Okay, let's see that force comp. Dragoons, pike and shot. Ten units of cavalry. Try to slip these light lancers around. You make for the forest. Same with you. Good. I have to absorb some musketry, I'm afraid. This horse can hide in these woods to just act as a tripwire. Next turn. Oh. Okay.
Terrible job. Way to go. Let's try our best to get through here. Ugh, they can't fall back without taking a check now. Is it worth it? Dunno. Rush past the white horse to the woods. Let's let you take cover for now. Get on that hill. Fire. Take a risk. Good. Push. Oops. Wrong unit. I guess it didn't really matter. Height 100. Unfortunate. Well, nothing to be done. Weird, very weird. Next turn. Really well sighted artillery. Got that hundred height there, and we're disrupted, so that's a problem. Zone of control locked with cavalry. Amusing. And actually, you made a mistake. Do you pile in here or push in for the engagement on the infantry? Hmm. Let's pile in. Take some volleys. Okay, you unfortunately have to charge. Good luck. That's not, that's not good luck. Get in. Now they can't fall back. Hopefully you rally soon. Threaten a flank. Zone them in. And you can start shooting. Don't care. Going for the guns. Good. Rush for those flanks. What if we got disrupt? Guess not. The right to come out. You need to hold back. Good luck. 
pile in or advance. Pile in, then we can't get shot at. Next turn. Yeah, that's that's really bad. Uh -huh. What a shame. At least they blocked the field of fire for one unit. Oh, that's bad. Bounce it? Not quite. Right, well, let's get that auto drop in. Great, then. Problem solved to the woods. If we charge, we could get a rear charge, so we'll turn. Because of the rear threat, we can do that. And then, as a result, because we're a Kyle, we can ignore all that. Get the flank. Great. Pile on to there. They're disrupted already. So, threaten them. Better. Stay there. Tempting. Yeah, go for it. We'll take out all those guns soon. In you go before you get shot at anymore. Ugh. Just stick the charge, god damn you. Okay, good. Decide what to do with this unit. Sure. Guard the flank. It's not ideal, but it's what we've got to work with. And you can see here that we're doing pretty okay. They have armor and superior, but they don't get their melee pistols because they're severely disordered and swordsman still works. So 100 to 100, basically this melee will go on forever and no one's gonna win and that is fine. His unit costs considerably more than mine. 60 to what, 34? Yeah, that's right. Next turn, Awesome 4 is giving me a well played. Let's see, we're up 14 and 0. It's a good start. Hmm, that's too bad. This is entirely over. Hmm. 
failed to disrupt. Yeah, it's ugly. Hundred height, yep, that POA made a difference. Why don't we smash in? No. Right a flank, stand your ground. Good. These are a light horse. We could force them to stick though. That would be amusing, right? Let's do it. Then we charge. See what this brings you. Um, hmm. Interesting choice. Wow, we just tanked that. Oh well, who cares? Can we avoid a charge if we're here? I think that is out of reach. Maybe it's not. I think it is, but whatever. We'll be fine. Next turn. Disrupts. Nope. Oh, lovely. Ah, uh, I was still in charge range. That's okay. And our time traveling Scotsman have won the day. These pike blocks are very tough, and I just didn't have to take that much shooting. It's being flat and open terrain. It's not surprising that the one part of the field where I suffered was where he could sit on terrain and shoot and force me to move into a bad position. But mostly it was flat, and I had enough cavalry to keep his cavalry distracted. So a good game, Dawson 4.
next time.